to make the simplest dress ever so the length is uh, 40 so it's perfect for me because that's the length I normally use for my shorts so when folding fold it into four one two three four one for the back two for the back two for the front so this is the length of the fabric that we are using so we are going to check the length the largest part of my body is my hip which is 42 divided so we have a uh, like uh, 13 and a half inches for the width so it's going to be enough so from here i'm going to measure my my neckline which i will mark which i will mark four and uh, for the front for the width which i will also mark so I'm going to connect these lines and mark out the neck so this is a freehand method so my shoulder should my shoulder to shoulder measurement is seven so we have a 13 and a half which is good so I'm not going to cut out anything here the only thing I have to do is to measure my armhole which is eight inches and I'll make it eight and a half my shoulder to waistline is 17 so I'm going to mark the 17 So after marking my 17 from here I will, from my waistline I will measure my hip which is 5 10 my lower and the highest hip so from here my waist is 15 which will give me 7.5 divided by 4 and I'll add uh, um, four inches um, three inches I'll add three inches extra then my hip is 10 I'll also add three inches extra so from here I'm going to connect I'm going to connect my line so from here also I'm going to connect here so that's how we roll so we are going to measure here here is supposed to be 13 inches why the down will now be 12 inches or you can also make it 13 inches but i love making mine to be 12 so it will give you that perfect fit so we are true with the basic with the bodies we are so so true so for the neck part for the neck and uh, for the back neck we are going to use uh, we are going to use two inches so we are going to connect the lines so first and foremost we will cut out we will cut out the neckline before cutting the back but since we are going to open this um i have to minus my one inches from my shoulder line and connect it so we are true so since you are minus one inches from here remeasure your armhole remeasure your armhole always so that you will not make mistake so we are true we are going to start cutting So we are going to cut out the back neck because that's the shortest. Yes. So we are going to cut this.
so guys i'm going to separate this i'm going to separate the back from the front so after you have separated your front and back panel you fold the front again so as to help you cut out the neckline so make sure that the, the two necklines are equal then when they, when they are equal always make sure of that so since mine is equal so i'm going to cut out the front left line so that's it this is the front bodies why this is the back the front and back bodies so from here is where i will now draft my front design so i'm going to use this to make design for the front so so from here from the neck i'll measure two inches and i'll measure 12 inches down or let me just 13 inches down so from this one inches i'll just connect the line from here to this point from here to this point and cut out but when cutting out i have to place my fabric so guys from here i'm going to mark out my seam allowance of half inch so it's from there that i will it's from there that i will you know not the one that i will use for my folding so so once i removed this i'm going to replace this also how to replace it your cut out you are going to um add your seam allowance there also from your cut out so always make sure that is of equal length go out so I'm going to replace this with this so I'm going to replace this with this and uh, we are good to go guys so how this is how the design will be and I also use this pattern to make my also use this pattern to make my pocket so guys wish me luck Guys, I have a black thread already on the machine, so I'm going to use it to fold the pocket. But first, if you have time, you can iron this before folding to enable you have a neat line. So this is so 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 important to do like ironing your pocket before fixing it so for me i'm going to use paint to hold it down so like i'm doing
So my pocket is semi 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 done. Let me just use the word semi done. So it's semi done. So I have to so this is how it's going to be on my but first I have to leave out I have to leave these rough edges here. So guys, I'm true with um I'm true with um with pinning of um this I don't know if I should call it interface or what. So I'm true with it. So and uh, I'm going to so start sewing. The thing I'm going to do is to find something to interlock to, um, to interlock here and make my neckline to be neat. So I'm going to find uh, I'm going to find uh, something that I will use to turn the neckline, both the front and the back neckline. So in my previous videos, I showed you guys how to use your bias to achieve a, neck, a perfect neckline finish. So I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to do it off camera. So if you want to know how to use your bias to achieve a neckline, a neat neckline, I will drop the link down below in the description box so that you guys can go and check it out. So guys, another thing for me to do is to attach our pocket. So here is where you have to design your pocket. This is the only option you have to design your pocket. So before joining the front and the back. So if you want to make your pocket like this, you can. If you want to make it like this, you can. So. I want to make my pocket um, like this, starting from my waistline. So I'll have to make it to be something like this. So all I have to do is to fold, fold and pin. to fold and pin all through so going to fold and pin remember when folding your pocket know where know where you the length that you want your pocket to be so and almost try as much as possible for you to have a fin a neat finished look so so try as much as possible to have a neat finish look so always printing your fabric always printing your fabric if you think you are not getting it right strengthening on will help you know the areas that you are not getting work so that's the essence so guys i have finished pinning and you can see this is straight is in a straight line so there's no folding there's no anything so i will start now to sew so when sewing, I'm going to sew at the edge.
so I'm cutting out the the traits out. So I have a perfect finish at the back. You see, I have a perfect finish at the back. I also have a perfect finish at the front line, at the front panel. So this is it so the remaining thing is for me to join the back and the front together and then we interlock and that is it guys guys what i'm doing is i'm now joining the two shoulders together The next thing for me to do is to join the two ends then before turning the wall. Let me just so uh, interlock this leaf, interlock here with a bias, then shape our uh, this thing, then iron it, and that's we are through with it. So, guys, I'm going to use bias to turn this leaf also before shaping it and interlocking finally before ironing so this is what i'm doing i'm going to do it off camera also it's the same thing as using bias to turn your neck or to achieve a perfect neckline so that's the same thing so guys i'm truly really using bias to turn the, the sleeve so the remaining thing for me to do right now is to hold the two ends together and uh, run my stitches or shoot down then uh, and that's all and then fold the down part and we are through with this tutorial mm -hmm. so so guys this is the final look of the simple short poopoo -poo dress um this is how the pocket looks like so i made the pocket to be a little bit slanty and uh, big also so it's not all that big big but it's big so and it's on the left hand side of this dress so i also love the details here and uh, this is the final look of how to use your bias to make a perfect neckline so this is it